gonna worship this guy? Hey! We got Cy Young winners over here! Hey y'all, Bill, the Hall of Fame collector here, and this video is just more ridiculous monsters. I don't even know where to begin. I was going to show off some Hall of Fame autographs, um, but you know what? There's just so much jam-packed. I'm going to leave you with five Hall of Fame autographs for the next video which really will conclude what I have, and a re absolutely ridiculous card um, that is uh, on its way. But um, this here, I mean, I, I'm just going to start off. I said I would have some Maddox in this video, so here we go. This one here uh, I've had. Um, it's not new, but it's from 1996. SP Authentic Chirography, if that's how you pronounce it, On Card Auto. Um, Maddox does have a fair amount of On Card autographs from the 90s. Uh, in terms of the rarest or hardest to find, I nabbed the second hardest one. The first hardest one is from 1998, and it's this one here. And this one happens to actually be uh, have a print run of just 12. Um, but everyone else signed a lot in, in this color, so it's kind of like an anomaly. But um, this one, oh man, so happy to get this one. It's the 99 Chirography Gold SP Authentic on car autograph. Uh, number to the jersey number for Maddox is just 31. Beautiful blue autograph. It looks darker because of the gold, but gold in the back, gold in the front. A real stunner type card. The second hardest 90s autograph for Maddox. And uh, it's in the PC. All right, next is this one here from also from 1998. Man, anything less number to 100 or less, you know, I'd even say 150 or less for 98 is is truly a great grab. And I've been keeping an eye on this one for such a long time. And with the, the crazy prices that we've seen, I just had to pull the trigger um, on this one from 1998. Gold label, this is the red label, has that really nice uh, foil front foil throughout the you know the entire front the red label are hard um this one happens to be the class two red label which are numbered to 50 a little foil missing there on the 50 but who cares man only 50 from 1998 boom this one too i'm just so happy to get i'm gonna show off these first two that i already own um from 1998 stadium club the triumvirate um, there's three different kinds. This is the easiest one to get. It's You can see it's just foil. Nothing fancy, right? Very easy to get. Then there's the hardest one to get, which I have. This is the Illuminator version, which is a, a clear plastic. You can see my fingers through it. And it's got foil just on the front there. And uh, actually the foil on the back. Uh, but it is a clear plastic card. But the one I was missing was the one in the middle, and uh, I would argue it might be the best looking one. That is the uh, Luminescent, which is this one here. It is not a plastic card, but it is full foil on the front. You can see the shine. It is beautiful, and uh, finally have it. Nothing on the back. Okay, I'm gonna drop some more bombs. How about this one for a bomb? 1999 Skybox Premium Manny Ramirez Star Rubies. Um, sweet. This is one of my favorite 90s cards. They're numbered to 50. I mean, just unfreaking real um, to get this card. Uh, just, uh, I'm in love with these cards. So, uh, you know. 
Okay, besides that, um, there was an auction uh, where somebody listed an entire run, seemingly an entire run, of 1996 Studio Silvers. Um, and uh, they were all super crispy mint. And uh, I was outbid on the uh, Manny Ramirez. I was outbid on the Gwyn. I have Maddox, but uh, I just drew like random numbers on, on a few other cards and happened to nab two. So I don't really know what I'm doing with these yet. I might sell them, try to sell them for a profit. I don't know. But these cards are really underrated. 96 Leaf Studio Silvers. Here's a Bagwell. And again, these are crispy crisp, man. At least PSA 9s, maybe 10s. And the the trick with these are, on the back there, it says one of 100. And uh, yeah, only 100 for 1996 is absurd. These should be really expensive cards. So I got the Bagwell, and I actually got the Randy Johnson, another underrated player from the 90s. Again, um, the base cards are silver foil, but not this hollow foil, so... Um, just a tricky, really tough card, and uh, threw a number and nabbed them. Okay, here's another random card I threw a number on, and and I just I got it. So I have no idea again what I'm gonna do with this thing. If I'm gonna keep it for now or sell it or what, but um, boom, 2000 Paramount Fielder's Choice Gold Glove. Uh, I have the Maddox, and these are insanely rare. Print and run of 10, serial number on the front. Um, this card uh, was, I guess, not labeled properly on eBay. It did not say out of 10, it did not show a serial number, and it did not say the gold version. So maybe some people didn't see it, but um, I don't know. This card, I feel, went for way too cheap. Yeah, it's a little dent there, I guess, but your serial number to 10, I mean, um, that's just... Oh, boom. I think some of these cards I'm seeing, uh, A-Rod, I think he's got some potential once he gets in, but uh, I don't know. That's ridiculous. This next one here is just another card that um, I, I wanted, and uh, shout out to Nate Tops 8541 I don't know if he has this card, but um, Barry Bonds is grossly underrated. I don't know why Griffey is regarded so high. I really feel like the best player in the 90s uh, was Barry Bonds. Um, Griffey, I would say, maybe number two. And Maddox should be number three. But, um, you know, with the Hall of Fame controversy and, uh, you know, all that, I just felt like this card, for some reason, always spoke to me. Once I got the Maddox and realized that Barry was in this, I had a specific save search for this card. And uh, one popped up at, you know... I don't know if it's expensive or not, but uh, 1999, it's number to 100. These things are notorious for chipping and just really poor conditions. And this one's actually pretty good considering. I've never had a CSG slab. Really interesting how they had the CSG slab. This is in pretty good shape. Um, but man, to have a Barry Bonds here, you know, plaque type of Hall of Fame thing, I think it's just extra special. Whether he gets in or doesn't, in general, to have this, especially if Barry Bonds gains more respect like he deserves. Um, I, I just, I'm happy to get this one. More so than a Griffey, honestly. Okay, I'm out of top loaders, but I'm going to fly through these cards here just to finish this video. Um, these ones are just gorgeous. Couple dollars. Uh, 96 Bowman's Best. This is the Atomic Refractor Die Cut Manny Ramirez. Gwyn and Maddox, I don't believe. Maddox is not in it, but I don't think Gwyn is. And then this one here is actually pretty cool, too. It's the same card, but not die cut. And so this is uh, like a proof card. Uh, it was never uh, released, I guess. Uh, proof. Uh, they ultimately were die cut. Uh, I picked this one up for just a couple dollars. I'm working on the rainbow here of this 21 archives. And this one's out of 75. Just a couple bucks. This one here I picked up. Um, I'm going to take it out of the foil here. Uh, 97, totally certified blue. Right, normally these, these are, I think, numbered to 39.99 or 1,999. But what makes this one cool is um, it's not numbered at all. So these are uh, pretty tough to see one of these without a number. 
Next we have here from 1999 Topps Finest Peel and Reveal. These are the two that I have. Um, you didn't know what the card was. It had a black film on it, you had to peel it. The most common would be this Sparkle. And then the second most common was this uh, Hyper Plaid, which is very cool. But the hardest one was called Stadium Stars. And um, I had been wanting these for such a long time. And uh, this looks like it has no background. Uh, at all. In fact, it was listed card, no background, rare, but actually uh, under certain conditions, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it is actually the stadium stars and there's a, there's a star that sparkles and there's like moons. I don't think you can pick it up in the video, but trust me, it's there. Happy to get that one. 1997 Fleer, their insert a parallel was called the Tiffany's and uh, I was missing uh, I'm missing one. There was three different cards in the set. Uh, I've managed to snag two of them. And these cards are normally like matte finished. And uh, the Tiffany's are gloss with this hollow foil. Uh, so this is the checklist card and the encore card. I'm actually missing what I believe to be the base card. But these are the Tiffany's. We also have this one that eluded me for a long time from Pacific Revolution 2000. MLB Icons, I think it's called. Um, these were hand collated and uh, not that easy, uh, but finally got one for a couple bucks. And last for this video is from, uh, I think it's 96 or 90, no, it's 98, Pinnacle Inside. There's these card called, cards called Stand Up Guys, and I have all four of them. They make, uh, there's four different cards, but um, the samples are very tough, and uh, I happen to get all four samples in one lot. So here's one card here. You can see it says sample across the front. And uh, this actually is, there are two cards in this top loader. Again, I'm out of top loaders. There's the sample there. You can see Maddox there and Nomo, uh, and then Randy Johnson and whoever this is here. But that's just two cards. And these are the other two. I actually put them together for you to show you what it does. They slide into each other. And this is the other two samples. There's your Maddox, there's Chipper, and uh, yeah, I don't know. who's that? Javier Lopez. You can kind of see what the deal is with these sample cards. Pretty darn cool. This video, entire video is absolutely bonkers. My favorite card of the bunch would either be probably this one or this one. Pro definitely this one. Um, but man, next video, Hall of Fame autographs. Um, thanks y'all for watching.